everybody, I'm Mike from Regala Photography, where we talk about everything photography. Today, we're gonna to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of shooting in RAW format. RAW is a type of file format that allows you to capture all the data recorded by your camera sensor. If you've ever done film photography, you'll know that the negative is your source for duplicating your photos. It has all the data from the photos you took. A RAW file is a digital version of a negative. It, had all, it has all the data from the, uh, the scene of your photo. It allows you not only to duplicate your photos, but also to edit your photos to recreate the scene that you saw that day. Here are three advantages of using RAW file format when shooting photography. The first advantage of shooting in RAW format is that it gives you more flexibility when it comes to post-processing. Because RAW files contain more data than JPEGs, you'll have more room to adjust the exposure, white balance, and other settings without losing the quality or introducing any artifacts into your photo. This means you can rescue a poorly exposed photo, correct color casts, and fine tune the image to your liking. Another advantage of shooting in RAW format is that it allows you to change the picture style or color profile after the fact. In other words, you can shoot in a neutral or flat profile and then apply your preferred settings in post-processing, uh, giving you more control over the final look of your photo. This is particularly useful for, for photographers who want to create a consistent style or a look across their portfolio. You can use or create presets in your editing software that you can apply to your photos and have a uniform look to all of your photos. The third advantage to shooting raw format is that it preserves the original image data, which means you can always go back to the original file and start over if you make a mistake or you want to try a different approach or a different style. This is especially important for photographers who want to archive their work or print their images um, at a large scale. It is also important to make sure you make multiple backups of all your raw files on external hard drives especially, and I should say multiple hard drives too, just to keep them safe. Oh. Okay, here are three disadvantages to using a uh, raw format when taking your photos. Shooting in raw format has some disadvantages as well. Uh, first and foremost, raw files take up a lot more space on your memory card or hard drive. Depending on the resolution of your camera and the length of your shoot, you may need to invest in more storage space, SD cards, external hard drives, just to accommodate the larger files. Uh, my Canon EOS R creates a 30 megabyte raw file. And if you happen to use the Canon R5, um, it uses a 45 megabyte uh, raw file. Some Sony cameras create 50 to 60 megabyte raw files. And just to give you some perspective, a high quality JPEG of the same photo would be only about three to five megabytes per photo. So you can see that um, it's a big difference. It's like 25% of your space of the size of your photo if you use a JPEG. Hey everyone, Future Mike here. Uh, I forgot to mention that a lot of current cell phone cameras uh, are also have the ability to shoot in RAW. Um, I'm shooting on the, uh, the 14 Pro Max and it can shoot in RAW up to a 45 uh, megabit file, which is pretty big for a phone uh, a photo. Um, one difference is, is that the sensor in the phone is a lot smaller than the sensor in say a mirrorless or DSLR camera. So even though the file size is the same or bigger than a lot of regular uh, cameras, 
um, and you still can get a lot of detail out of the raw file um, from your phone um, it's still not necessarily as good as what a raw file will be from a mirrorless or a DSLR so anyway hopefully you can use that information all right back to my uh, past future self another disadvantage uh, to shooting in raw format is that it requires more time and effort to process the images. Unlike JPEGs, raw files need to be converted to a usable format before you can view, edit, or share them. You cannot share a raw file on social media. Okay, It has to be converted to JPEG, PNG, etc. This process can be time consuming, especially if you're working with a lot of images. As a professional photographer, you'll have to account for your editing time into your price or costs um, to your customers. Finally, shooting in raw format requires a basic understanding of post-processing technique and the software. If you're new to photography or don't feel comfortable with editing, shooting in raw may not be the best option for you. So learn how to use Programs like Lightroom, uh, One Photo, I think it's called, uh, uh, Luminar Neo. Learn how to use those photos or those uh, uh, software apps, and um, then you can start using uh, raw files for your for your business. All right, so there you have it: the advantages and disadvantages of shooting in raw format. Ultimately, whether or not to shoot in raw depends on your personal preferences, workflow and goals. If you value flexibility, more control, and quality, shooting in raw format may be worth the extra effort. If, on the other hand, you prioritize simplicity and convenience, well then what I would do then is shoot in JPEG, which would then be a better option since you don't have to do really any post-processing. As always, experiment, practice, and just have fun with it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Click the like button. It really does help the channel grow. Ring that bell so you'll be notified when my next video is posted. Until next time, take care, everybody.